knowledge okay here i will discuss on fundamental things you can ask sir why we don't observe the coupling of carbon 13 c because we have if this kind of framework ch and this ch then we know that this proton is going to couple with these protons we will have two doublet two doublet then why we cannot see the coupling in carbon anymore now try to understand i have two carbon this carbon is 13 c the probability of being this carbon is 13 c is very much low very low or very little probability if this is 13 c and if this is 13 c definitely it will couple to each other but the probability is that much low we cannot see on spectrum that's the reason that low abundance low abundance 1.1 percent is the main culprit that's why we do not observe 13 c 13 c coupling for the car we do not observe coupling in carbon nmr this is the wrong statement definitely there is a coupling but 13 c 13 c coupling is not observed because of low abundance so 13 c 13 c coupling is not observed it is not observed because of low abundance because of low abundance of that in c 1.1 percent then what this coupling is that fluorine if 19 is never active it can couple so when this couple with the same carbon that is the ipsum one is very closer to this c that was very strong coupling will observe very strong coupling very strong and remember for photon what we observe the coupling constant 8 hertz like aromatic 14 hertz for alkene look 220 sorry 244 hertz that much high and see it is designated as j1 jfc look 1 jfc means it's one bond coupling coupling in one bond if in one fluorine and one carbon that's why this is designated one one fc and this fluorine can couple with this carbon there's two bond coupling that is basically should be doublet this also be also doublet like ortho coupling 21 hertz that's why it is what two two bond two j what coupling fluorine and carbon fc it may be one two three here equal to three so this is one two three three j fc as the distance is increasing coupling is quite weaker here the c coupling constant 7.4 hertz and if the para positions one two three four which is basically four j fc only two hertz so when fluorine fluor substitute is there, there will be four coupling. One is one JFC, this is for two JFC, three JFC, four JFC. So one JFC is the most stronger, then it is quite lower, quite lower and lower. So if the question is asked such a way, what is the order of coupling constant? Or the, what is the order in extent in coupling? order of coupling constant coupling constant for they said for example yeah for fluorobenzene then what now we know and very easily we can say that this is the order first 
वन जे एफ सी देन टू जे एफ सी देन थ्री जे एफ सी देन फोर जे एफ सी और सो यू कैन रिमेम्बर द वैल्यू दिस इज राइट टू ट्वेंटी फोर टू फोर्टी फोर दिस इज लाइक ट्वेंटी वन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव नाउ कम टू द स्पेक्टर लुक दिस कार्बोन इज मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन डेफिशियंट This is most electron deficient. Electron deficient. So as a result, this appears on here at the PM. And look at the value. Very high coupling constant, two forty four. Then this one. So next it will be this carbon. So look at here. So this is going to be this carbon. And then this is the green one. This is the green one having coupling constant. This is the coupling constant like twenty one hertz, and this is coupling constant at para positions means very low two point five. So basically, we are observing. We should not confuse from this. This is two carbon. This is one carbon. Just it's a splitting. That's very interesting things, and we we can resolve this. fantastic learning from these things now look at this compounds so this three fluorine group is going to couple with this carbon so this carbon has three fluorine group as a result what will happen by using n plus 1 rule as this is attached to a three fluorine group this will be quartet quartet So it is quartet. Intensity ratio one is two, as as you, as you know. And look at the very high coupling constant, two eighty three hertz, because three fluorine group is directly attached to carbon. So when so this attached with this carbon, so here also you find on quartet. And look, this quartet is has quite low coupling constant as this three fluorine group together present at quite distance. That's why this is the reason. So, if just never put in mind that only uh, proton uh, coupling happens like a double a triplet quartet for carbon also we can see it, but it is not due to the carbon. Carbon, carbon something else. So we have two quartet here. One is higher coupling constant or the lower coupling constant. If it is asked why this is happening, the higher coupling constant because this three fluorine group. Is directly bonded to this carbon, so the coupling is very much stronger. So this three-fluorine group is quite distant from this carbon. That's why this coupling is quite weaker. 